Hello again. Welcome, Pio Nation. Thank you for sticking around. My name is Matt Williams, and you're watching Married College Esports. So I know I mentioned in the chat that we would be starting our Overwatch match with Bethel University around 12.15, but it looks like everyone's ready now, so we're going to go ahead and get things uh, started up. So I'm going to go ahead and get the roster for our Overwatch team, especially who's going to be playing today. Uh, so at tank positions, we're going to have Fresher, Mason, the Flash, Harmful, Hades, and Junior, Drayton, Piper, Shaken Dwarf. Uh, Caleb Bradley's not going to be available today, so at DPS, we will have... Uh, Freshman Corey McFan, C4 Gamer. And it looks like I think we're going to make a minor change just because of some of the rosters. We're going to have Junior Morgan White Poseidon playing DPS today. And at support, we're going to have freshman Tyler Soundnature Azadale and uh, senior Ian Darling Brimstone. But all right, yeah, so this is going to be a very exciting match. Bethel has improved quite a bit with their Overwatch team. Uh, so I think this can go either way. Both sides have some very good players. Um. Uh, yeah, so they are just trying to get everything set up here. So I'm going to get the audio up and running here and get everything good to go. Because, yeah, we're going to be starting very soon. Looks like the first map is going to be uh, Legion Tower. So Marietta is saying they're ready. So once Bethel is ready, we will get uh, the match to you underway. And we even have like all these matches coming so quickly and I haven't been able to go over any announcements. Um, so I guess I'll just mention very quickly that after this match, we will have one more later today with our League of Legends team going up against Upper Iowa University as part of the College League of Legends series. And then tomorrow we are going to be broadcasting a special match. Uh, we will be hosting a League of Legends tournament for Esports Ohio. So that will be starting around 10 a.m. In fact, after this uh, match, I'm going to be getting the bracket information set up, uh, sent out to the teams so they can prepare for it. All right, looks like Bethel's ready. Marietta is ready. So let's get this going, folks. And I hit the wrong button. That's not the right one. Let's try this one. There we go. That's better. But, all right. So we are going to be on Legion Tower, and there's a pause. Something happened with Harmful Hades. And there's a request about skin. Okay, so now... Okay, I think we're going to have to recreate the... So hold on, I think we're going to have to make a change to... The lobby. So there's a request to make sure there are no skins and using the uh, regular map. So we will get that uh, to you. Or we'll they'll, they'll make the adjustments to the, the lobby and then we'll uh, have everything underway. All right, so as soon as everything is set up, we'll have the uh, going. Yes, yeah, so we can, you can see the lobby chat. Everyone is ready. So we're going to get game one here underway. Here we go. Hopefully no disconnects, no map issues. None of that. Yeah, Legion is a, a very popular control map. Uh, really see if Marina is going to try to take advantage of any booping off with the uh, the platforms. Although Bethel could do the same thing. So we might see things like Lucio, Roadhog. Uh, those would be very uh, popular heroes on this map. So let's see what everyone's going to go with. Marina is going to be on the blue side. Bethel will be on the red side. Ready for battle. And it looks like going to go with the Ryan Wrecking Ball composition for Marietta. Meanwhile, it seems like Bethel's going to be going for kind of like a, uh, a dive composition with a Sombra. Actually, no. Marion is changing their composition. Now they're going to go with Zarya. No, no. Now they're going to go with Wrecking Ball Winston. Five. So Marietta's going to have their own interpretation of a dive comp. 
with a Symmetra. So I think we're going to see a little bit of teleportation play uh, going on for the Pioneers. Jengador is going to be going out to scout and tries to do a little bit of booping. Does take some damage. He's out there by himself, though. The Mary has got to be careful. He gets taken out early. He just was very overextended. Oh, the C4 Gamer does take out Relentless. Mary is getting in there. The Symmetra taking out two from Bethel already. Opera Hades is going to go down, so it's going to be highly contested uh, in the map. But Bethel is starting to maintain control. Grimstone will get the res off, but Bethel will control the point first. So now we'll see if Maria can recontrol the map. But overall, Bethel is doing a pretty good job with keeping control of everything. Mary needs to find the pick. They do swap over to the Sigma instead of the Wrecking Ball. And it seems like Neptune's going to try to get into the back line with the Tracer. EMP does come out and Bethel's going to go charging in. Going to take out Azadale. And that's going to slow down Mary's progress. The res does go off though. But now we see the Sigma all coming out. Does catch a few. Mary's going to try to zone out Bethel. Coalescence comes out and takes out Shaken Dwarf. Barrier comes out, but C4 Gamer is going to fall. If Barrier is struggling to get picks, Bethel's getting one pick after another. And Marietta has now going to have to regroup and respawn. And the only thing they have is that they will have Primal Rage, they will have Transcendence. Meanwhile, Bethel will have the Beat and also Primal Rage. We'll see how Marietta can uh, adjust to this. They do take out one, so this is their opportunity to go in, but they need to charge in because the point's at 85%. Primal Rage comes out for both Winstons, but the rest of Marietta is nowhere near the site, so Harmful Hades is trying to charge around. Now Marietta is starting to make the way in. Point's at 97%. Now they got to charge in. Diva Bomb comes out. Tech catches two from the Pioneers and Mary is going to get zoned out and Bethel's going to take the first round but Marietta's struggling to get the picks and being able to push forward and Bethel's able to get picks one by one staggering the Pioneers and being able to take this first point Now we'll see if Marietta makes any adjustments uh, to their composition. Looks like we're going to see a Reinhardt Diva uh, coming for the Pioneers. And I think we're going to see a similar comp. We're going to see the same composition that Bethel used in uh, round one. So we're going to see Marietta. Kind of contest in the middle side there. Damage going back and forth. Shields are coming out. Mary is trying to zone out Bethel, but Harmful Hades is going to fall. It just seems like the positioning is not where it needs to be. They're not grouped up to get into healing range. The Marietta is down a person. Shaken Dwarf is going to be diving in. And F2 is going to be taken out. And Harmful Hades is disconnected again. So they're going to have to pause to try to... See if he can get his connection stable. Right now they're just trying to get some... Um, trying to get Hades to uh, be able to connect back in. But yeah, so it looks like they're just going to go as is. 
But he is back in. Bethel will take the points. Now Marina's going to have to find picks and be able to regroup. Hades seems to be good. And the question is, can Marietta uh, get a pick to be able to contest this point? Coalescence does come out for Bethel. Not going to do a whole lot except zone out the Pioneers. It's going to actually force them back. Uh, several of them are very low on health. Azadale is almost dead. Rip is going to be coming out and does catch two for Bethel. And he's going to fall himself, but Marianne is up by one person, so this would be their chance to move forward. So they are going to start pushing out Bethel. Bethel's taking out one uh, one person after another. And Bethel's just picking off the Pioneers one by one. Now Marietta's going to regroup. They do have three ults, but Bethel has five ready to go. And they're going to have six in just a second. Here comes the barrier. Diva Bomb's going to be coming out. EMB's going to come out to cancel that out. Beat's going to be coming out. And now here comes Bethel's Diva Bomb. Doesn't catch anyone. So neither Diva Bomb is going to catch anyone. Death Blossom comes out for Red Ninja. Gets stunned, but does take out two of the Pioneers. So right now, Bethel is winning the fight with only one going down, and they're taking out the rest. There he is trying to recontest re and try to capture the point. But there he is just falling one by one. And now we're going to use Primal Rage to zone out the Pioneers, and I don't think there's going to be much they can do. He was slept. The Marion is trying to push in Azadale's over there, but he's going to end up falling. And the rest of the Pioneers are just trickling in one after another. And map one is going to go to Bethel University. So we're gonna, so yeah, Bethel does take game one, and I think Harmful Hades is going to reset real quick to uh, to kind of get everything, make sure his connection is stable. Gonna take just a few minutes to to get uh, some connections set up here. I think what we'll do is we'll take a a, a very uh, short break uh, while we are waiting for uh, the the connection to be stable. It might just be thirty seconds. It might be a minute or two. But we're gonna take a small break while we're waiting for. Uh, the lobby, waiting for Hades to be able to reconnect. So we'll be back in just a minute.
All right, welcome back. We had to make an adjustment, but it looks like everything is good. We got the ready checks in. All right, so we're gonna be doing Temple of Anubis. This time Marietta is gonna be on the red side and Bethel is gonna be on the blue side. So Marietta will be attacking for... Oh wait, uh, I think they made a quick little mistake in the lobby. So just got to adjust that. It's okay, folks. Uh, just making sure that everyone can spectate everyone correctly. And I'm going to give shout outs to uh, Shaken Dwarf for helping with uh, getting the lobby set up. And uh, he hasn't really done it before. So, um, so just be patient with it as we're trying to make sure all the kinks are, are worked out. But okay, so let's see what kind of compositions that uh, everyone's going to be going with. So it seems like Shaking Dwarf is going to go with the Roadhog, so we're going to need a Zarya Roadhog. So going with a, a very aggressive uh, plan here. Meanwhile, it doesn't look like that uh, Ethel is going to be changing their composition. They uh, feel very comfortable with the, the Diva Monkey. Uh, looks like they're going to be... Yeah, so Marietta's going to be doing a different composition here. Bring out the, the Mercy this... Well, I had Mercy before. But for DPS, we're going to see the Echo and McCree coming out. Now, this is a map that Marietta likes. They feel very comfortable with Temple of Anubis. So let's see how they play here. So the first thing is going to be this initial bottleneck. Can Marietta get a pick? They are kind of split right now. Maybe trying to jump onto the monkey, and it's a one-for-one one trade. Monkey goes down, but C4 Gamer goes down, but he's going to get rest. Now Mary's going to be converging over to the right side, working their way around. They do take out a couple, but this may be Marietta's chance to capture the point. They're charging in with two down for Bethel, but Neptune's going to fall. Relentless is going to fall for Bethel, though. Diva Mech is out, and, B and Diva is down. So I think Marietta is going to be able to capture this first point with plenty of time on the clock. That's two ticks, and they're just going to be checking to make sure Bethel isn't going to contest in the last second. And Mary's going to capture the point. They have six minutes to capture the second point. So let's see if they're going to be able to jump in there. Um, looks like Whole Hog is about ready, and EMP for Bethel is just about ready. But okay, the hook tries to go off, does not connect. Mary is going to be rotating, it seems like, maybe on the left side. No, they're going to stick around the middle. Now they're going to converge over to the left side, grouping up over here. Jake and Dwarf leading the charge for the Pioneers. And tries to get a hook on there. And they're going to have to back out, trying to put some pressure onto Bethel, see if they can get a pick. The MP does come out, but Transcendence comes out to save the Pioneers. So great call by Azadale to stay behind, avoid the MP. Neptune does fall, though. And we see Lamp coming out for Bethel. But right now, it's just kind of a stalemate. Uh, Brimstone is going to get the res onto Neptune. And going to be using the Sombra to copy. High Noon's going to come out. Demon Bomb's going to come out. C4 Gamer does catch into And a 4k for Ally. MP does come out for Neptune. But unfortunately, that 4k by Ally is going to stop Marietta's uh, uh, attack. And now they're going to be forced to retreat. Now, Jacob Dwarf is trying to get out of there. He's already getting low on health. He does not want to go down. That's going to stagger the Pioneers even more. But looks like they're going to be able to group back up. So now we're going to see uh, Bethel's EMP is pretty much going to be online. The Gravitron is almost ready for uh, Harmful Hades, but not going to be a whole lot of follow-up with that. Mary is going to try to maybe rotate around again. Goes for the hook, but the Rhine Shield is going to protect uh, Bethel. And Marietta's maybe looking their way to the right a little bit. It's kind of hard to tell. It, it's just not really clear what the strategy is for Marietta. They're just kind of peeking and poking, but not really making any plays. Although Ally is about half health, but probably going to start getting healed up a little bit. And Red Ninja does take out C4 Gamer. Have to burn the res to get him back up. 
And Sombra does get uh, hooked. Now Hold Home's going to be coming out by Shaken Dwarf. And this is going to be Marionette's chance to maybe push in. The MP does come out though to cancel the all. And Shaken Dwarf does come down. And still is still time for Hades. So with both tanks down and a support, Marion is going to have to retreat. So they are struggling to take this point. Having to burn ulties to just retreat. And Bethel's going to have four ults ready to go. Neptune does get the kill onto Zackle, but the rest of the team's not there. Now they have three minutes remaining. So while they had plenty of time to capture uh, to capture this point, they've been struggling to get any ticks. But Barry is going to have to find a pick and then go in. Three alts are online. High Noon does come out for C4 Gamer, looking for an opportunity to catch anyone, does not uh, get anyone, but Marion is trying to contest the, uh, the point and going to have to retreat, or at least fall back a little bit. And now Bethel's going to be trying High Noon, going to use the pillars to try to protect themselves, and High Noon does end up getting cancelled. Marion is going to rotate over to the right side now. Shake and Dwarf does go down though, does get stunned. Now Marianne has about two minutes remaining, and they can't move forward. So the only thing that's left for Marianne is the Transcendence. And yeah, they're going to have to fall back. And now everyone's back together. So Marianne has two support alts ready, and it looks like Neptune's going to be swapping to the Sombra. Maybe see if they can try to get a pick, see if they can get an EMP charge out. But Marion has a minute and a half, and they still need to be able to try to take this point. So it looks like Neptune is trying to see if he can get a pick from the back line, but not having a whole lot of luck. In fact, Neptune's going to end up going down and gets caught out. That's going to slow things down for the Pioneers. Now we're seeing the Sigma ult comes out. It does catch a couple of speed comes out. I knew it's going to be coming out, but they do get EMP. Transcendence is going to come out to try to keep Marietta up. And this is Bethel's go mode. One minute remains. Marietta has to get a pick here and try to get pressed forward. And they're going to start putting it onto the point. Grab Jar does come out. They take out one. C4 Gamer is going to fall though. But two for the Pioneers are down. So right now, and another dead eye comes out. So Marietta's falling one by one. Neptune's the only one that's alive. But Marietta may only have time for one more push. With only 30 seconds remaining, they're going to have to book it. And Diva Bomb is still ready to go. And even the Shatter is about to, to come up. But Marietta has to go. They're, they're out of time. They got to go in and contest the point with only 12 seconds remaining. The Diva Bomb does come out. That's going to zone out the Pioneers. Does catch Azadale. And they do and they do get an overtime. And they're trying to contest the point. But two, three of oh, the Pioneers have already fallen. They do take out one. But the beat's going to come out for Bethel. And... Unfortunately, Marietta is not going to be able to hold the point or get to it, and Bethel will be able to defend. So now, win condition is set for this round. Bethel just needs to take the first point and one tick from the second point, and they will take the second map. Initiating match. But we'll see how Marietta handles the uh, defensive side of this uh, map. But, but yeah, Marietta was just struggling to, to get a pick. It, it seemed like with every team fight, Bethel was able to get the first pick. Uh, and they were able to uh, follow through with that. But we'll see how Marietta can do defensively. Overall, they've done a pretty good job um, on the defensive side of things. And it looks like they're going to be going with a bunker strat. 
with the Sigma and the Orisa. So let's see how Merida is able to, to hold up against Bethel. Once again, Bethel's going to go with the same comp. I mean, there's, there's no need to make any changes. If what they're doing is working, then they're going to stick with it. Okay, Bethel's going to be rotating uh, along the, the left side. And they're doing a lot of damage to Bethel. Most of them are pretty low. It's a one-for-one -one trade right now. With Azrae and C4 Gamer falling from both sides. Now Bethel's going to be rotating to the top. And they're going to be working their way in to try to engage. But everyone's just all over the place. Brimstone's going down. Neptune is going to be down. Uh, Brimstone will get away, but was heavily focused on. And right now, the Pioneers are just so spread out. That it's just really hard for them to be able to get picks because everyone's just... From Bethel's collapsing on one person from, at a time. Marietta can't be split like that within a bunker strat. Now we're seeing the monkey dive in, and so is Reinhardt, but everyone from Bethel is popping in. Coalescence is coming out, taking out three of the pioneers, four of them. And they will capture the first point. Not necessarily as fast as how, when Marietta was able to capture it, but. All Bethel needs to do is take one tick of the second point, and they will take the map. So they got five and a half minutes to do that. Yeah, so now they're going all in. Alts are going out left and right. We're seeing a one-for-one -one trade. Marietta is going to be able to fend off the Space Marine, but C4 game is going to go down. So Marietta is holding right now, but the rest of Bethel is going to try to engage. But so far, they are able to hold. So Bethel's going to be rotating around again. They're going to try a similar idea. Although the Winston is going to be looking for a possible engage. Jake and Dwarf uh, is there at C4 Game to try to put some damage onto Bethel. And they do see Bethel over on the, the left side. Trying to get some poke in there. The tire is going to be coming out for C4 Gamer. Does catch two. And that's going to force Bethel to retreat. Now, less than four minutes remain for the, uh, for Mary to, to hold. I think if Maria does hold it, it'll end up being draw. We see the Sombra coming behind. EMP is ready. So they may be looking for a, uh, an all in engage if the Sombra does land that EMP. And here comes the MP taking out all the pioneers. And it's just trades left and right, but Marietta is continuing to hold.
All right, so another green gauge by Bethel trying to take out the Pioneers and trading back left and right. Maria is trying to hold the best they can, but we see Brimstone and Shaken Dwarf have uh, fallen for the Pioneers. They're trying to keep Bethel off the point with two minutes remaining, but Bethel is re-engaging. There he still has to hold and make sure Bethel doesn't take that first point. Riptire does come out and takes out two for Bethel. But Marietta will hold, just barely, but they will hold. Now about a minute remaining, Bethel's going to be rotating around. They don't have any ults ready just yet, although Primal Rage is ready, but uh, the, those supports ult for the Pioneers are ready to go if they need it. And, and now, now Neptune's going to be popping the ult. Transcendence is going to come out. Coalescence is going to actually come out for Bethel as well. But they're going to burn a couple ults pretty shortly, although they do take out two for Bethel and take out three. Diva Max is going to be coming out. Primal Rage is going to be engaged, but he's going to actually have to use it to get out. So Marietta will hold. 30 seconds remains. Now Bethel's going to be rotating around. This is going to be the last push for Bethel. Uh, Diva Bomb is ready, though. So if that lands and takes out several of the Pioneers, then they might be able to take it around. Here comes Diva Bomb. Can Marietta hold? It takes out three. It is not what Marietta needs. And that's going to allow Bethel to take it at the very last second. That is going to be a heartbreaker with that Diva Bomb at the very last second. And that's going to allow them to, uh, to take it. So Bethel now takes the lead two to zero. All right, so we're getting things set up for the the third map. Uh, should be escort. So we're gonna give it a chance to get uh, get things set up for. Uh, that lobby but yeah that was just very close at the end a uh, great execution by bethel with using the the diva bomb taking out uh, three of the pioneers and that allowed him to take the the win so it looks like marietta is going to go with hollywood wait that's a hybrid should be I mean, it. Okay. Um, I guess we're going with a hybrid? I'm not so sure what's going on at this point. I mean, I'll go ahead and get the uh, overlay up here.
All right. Uh, so let's see here. So Marion is going to be on offense first. So it looks like Mary's going to go with the uh, Reinhardt Zarya composition. And Neptune is going to get the pick onto Zackle, so this may be Marietta's chance to engage. So they're going to go straight onto the point. Zackle does get rest, and Shankendorf and C4 Gamer do end up going down. They may have over engaged. Marietta is not grouped up while Bethel is, so Mary's getting picked off one by one. And Bethel is going to hold. Yeah, the positioning just seemed to be all over the place for the, the Pioneers. So they weren't grouped up. They were scattered and allowed Pe Bethel to pick off people one by one because no one was in healing range. Now we see Asdale's going to get picked off. And so is Neptune. So that's going to be two down for the Pioneers. And Marion is going to get pushed back. Dragon's going to come out, does catch Azadale off. Mary is just struggling to get back to the point. Bethel's able to pick out one or two. Once again, Mary is spread out. They got to they gotta regroup if they're going to find the right picks. See, Neptune's going to get taken out by the Ash. That's just going to delay Marietta's offense even further. Now Marietta's moving forward, but Neptune's going to fall. Once again, they're just kind of all over the place and getting picked off one by one by Bethel. The one minute remains and most of the Pioneers are down. Didn't use any alts in that engage. They have three alts ready to go, but Bethel has five, almost six ready. And Ash is going to get the pick onto Brimstone. That's going to delay Marietta even further. But now they got 30 seconds. They're going to have to go. But they get, uh, Red Ninja is going to get another pick onto Marietta. Bethel's going to get another pick, but Mary's going to have to go now. They have 10 seconds. And they're going to get... Alts are going to go left and right. Harpo Hades is onto the point, but he's the only one that's left. And based on this point, Bethel was able to save all their alts and press R to win that round. So all they have to do is take uh, one tick off the point, and they will take secure the match. Match. 
Mario's going to have to put up quite a defense. If if Bethel takes one tick, then that will be the the uh, the series for them. Bethel's going to be working on to the engage. Various grouped up together to see if they can try to hold off the point. No one has fallen yet. And Bethel's going to be rotating around. It looks like Mary's going to drop on by the point. But Bethel's going to be trying to sneak from behind. And C4 Gamer's going to get picked off. He was there by himself. And it's just one after another. But it's kind of going back and forth. So it's evenly traded. Bethel is going to try to go for the re-engage. But most of the pioneers are dropping. But all that's left is Shaken Dwarf. And that might be enough to finish the game. C4 Gamers try to get over there, but it's not going to work. And Bethel is going to take the series. All right, folks, so that is going to be it. So congratulations to Bethel for a, a very strong performance on all three maps. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for us for now. Uh, we will have more for you later today. Our League of Legends team will be going up against Northern, uh, I'm sorry, Upper Iowa. Uh, university so that would be around four o'clock eastern time so please be sure to come back to check that out uh we'll also be streaming our league of legends tournament with esports ohio tomorrow at 10 a.m so also come back for that for all the latest information of what's going on with marietta college esports please be sure to follow us on twitch twitter instagram uh facebook all at marietta esports you can check out all of our matches at bit.ly slash marietta esports so from all of us Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you later today.